Hi there everyone, Nick Thompson here from NEC. Thank you for joining just a couple of minutes of your time to show you the NEC web video conferencing application, something that's built into your telephone system. So obviously we've, uh, we've brought this out around um, everything that's happening around the coronavirus. Um, lots of people, if not all people now, are being asked to um, obviously work from home if they can. Meetings have been cancelled, trips have been cancelled. So the obvious place to go to communicate now um, would be video conferencing. As you may know, video conferencing can come at a price. It can be tens, hundreds, if not thousands of pounds of video conferencing hardware and software. So isn't it fantastic that the NEC telephone systems have built-in web video conferencing capabilities? I'd just like to take you through a couple of points before um, I take you through to a live demonstration. It's probably the best way to show you is just to show you live how easy it is to use. So a couple of points to raise first is this resides within your telephone system. You do not need any servers or any dedicated PC to run any software on. In the same respect, you don't actually need a telephone um, because the audio and the video is done through your browser connection. Of course, you can use the NEC handset to conference in, um, but you don't actually need a physical telephone. It can be done through your PC or through your laptop. So there's no software to download onto the PC, onto your um, desktop or onto your mobile device, it is simply to open the browser. So the telephone system um, runs what we call um, a WebRTC connection and that will give you the ability to run video and audio um, through the internet. It's available across our platforms of NEC telephone systems, the SV9100 and the SL2100 system and we even give you the benefit and the ability, sorry, to screen share. It works using Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. We do recommend that you use Chrome if you want to use screen sharing. How many um, video conference people can we have on one video call? We can have up to eight users. So eight people can join a video conference call. However, you can have four groups of those. So effectively, you've got 32 licenses of video conferencing built in on your telephone system. Just a quick diagram there to show you how easy it is um, connection wise. The telephone system will create the video bridge and then of course you can send out a link and bring in your internal or external parties. So it's important to note that this isn't just for internal use people on your telephone system network. You can send the link out to your customers, your suppliers, um, your remote workers um, to connect to a video call. So let's jump across onto my PC. There's my desktop. I'm gonna open up um, my um, Google Chrome um, browser and as you can see I've got my shortcuts I've got my favorites along the top there and I have one called NEC video conferencing so if you're licensed it will ask you to log in with an ID and a password and we hit the login button there and that will take me to the video conference bridge I can now create a new video conference ID or I can actually put in an existing number that I've used before so if it's something like a sales meeting that you have regularly on a Monday at nine o'clock you can use the same conference ID people can then save that as one of these shortcuts along here and name it sales meeting and they click on that so there's no need to create a new video conference every time you want a video conference but obviously for the benefit of the um, demonstration I'm going to create a new one and send it to one of my colleagues so hello everyone there's me I'll take my glasses off I can see you now and how do I bring someone into this external or this, this video conference? And you can see in the top left hand corner there, it says copy link. I click the link, it will copy the URL and your unique ID onto my clipboard. I can then open up my email. I can then create a new email, send it to a group of people or send it to a colleague like I'm sending it to Mark now. I can even paste the URL, the link in the subject. You probably wouldn't, you'd probably give it a decent subject saying please join the sale meeting don't forget you can paste this into your calendar as well so if it's not a um, uh, an instant video conference and you want it for a couple of days time you would send it out as you would normally um, via a meeting event via your calendar so I'm going to send that to Mark now Mark's going to receive that email he's going to open the email and he's going to click on the link and that's all he needs to do. He doesn't need to do anything. He doesn't have to name anything. He doesn't have to download any software or any um, 
uh, add-ons or anything like that, he just clicks the link and he will join. Just while waiting for Mark to join, there's a couple of icons along the top here. You can see here, I can pause the video. I can pause, um, I mute myself. So if someone comes into this, um, hello there, Mark. Hi. Hi, thanks for joining. I can mute myself there. And this icon here is if I want to screen share. Just before I show you screen sharing, if I click on Mark, I can enlarge it there. So you can still see that I can see a window of myself, so I know that I'm central to my camera. I can see a larger image of Mark, perhaps in a boardroom, perhaps he's sat around a table with 10 other people sat around the boardroom table. I can click on myself and make myself larger again. If we were sat in a boardroom, we may want to see that everybody's in shot. Or I can click here and we can be side by side. If any more people join the video conference, then our application will resize those boxes accordingly. You can also um, increase or decrease um, the video quality depending on your bandwidth of your um, connection of course so that's quite good so for screen sharing I click on the screen share icon and the great thing about this is I've got an option here to choose either to share my entire desktop screen or I can actually go away and choose anything that's open on my desktop and as you can see there there's the PowerPoint video that I shared with you earlier I click share and it takes me to that PowerPoint and I can scroll through that PowerPoint and that's exactly what Mark's seeing. If I want to pause the PowerPoint anytime I can pause it there and of course I can actually stop sharing it altogether. I jump back to my video conference and there we are. So very very easy to use, very feature rich. If you would like any more information on NEC's web video conferencing that comes directly out of your phone system please don't hesitate to contact any one of us at NEC or please contact your nearest NEC reseller. Thank you very much for your time.